Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and people of all binaries, I'm Wolfgang Wilcox, your friend from the UK, welcoming you back to Not For Broadcast, where something terrible happened in the last episode. Jeremy Donaldson, driven to insanity, pulled out a gun and after threatening the entire news team offed himself live on air we still seem to be on day 297 take to remember <clears throat> you wake up still partly in shock from what you saw on the news last night what you had to edit on the news last night when you come downstairs, you find your family sat in the living room waiting for you. You take a seat on the sofa next to Sam. She swallows, hesitating before starting. We were worried about you last night, after Jeremy, everything that happened. What will they do with him now? Are you okay? Oh, he's not dead. Then. Well, sod everything that I just said at the fucking beginning, then. <clears throat> I can't shake the feeling he might be right. Sam glances at Charlie, then back to you. We sure you chose to play that tape. I couldn't help but wonder why. I didn't feel like I had a choice. Yeah. I think you did the right thing. It was a crazy situation, but it was the right thing to play the tape, Charlie says quietly. You hadn't realized how much his support would mean to you. It's good to have you. Excuse me. It's good to have your son on your side. For what it's worth, Alex, I think you're in an impossible situation. Somehow managed to make the right call. Sam throws her arms around you. Only you were stuck in that studio having to make that choice. No one can criticise what you did and I'm proud of you. You know, I've been so... <sighs> Sorry. Should have waited for a couple of minutes after having that fizzy drink. <clears throat> You've never been so glad to have Sam support you. You take a deep breath and gather your thoughts. It's all a lot to take in. You're not sure you fully process what happened last night, let alone what Charlie and Sam think about it. You smile warily at your family, exhausted. You didn't know how worried you were about it, but as Charlie makes a stupid joke, you all laugh, you feel the tremendous tension break. Sam rubs your back and tells him to flick on the TV. You couldn't ask for better. Day 365, we've officially been doing this for a year. Holiday update. Just as you're finishing up breakfast, Sam comes in with a post. We got a postcard from Susie. I hope she's having fun on her trip. <clears throat> Sam reads it aloud as she finishes getting ready for work. So I've seen what feels like most of Urkistan, a really cool place, but so cold. Hope Chippy enjoyed the gift. And before you say anything, yes, you were right to make me pack the extra pair of socks. Sam gives you a small kick under the table. Next we got the train to Kos... Konislava. Much warmer, and loads of beaches to enjoy. I could have stayed there forever, but had to head to San Palmaro before it got too cold. <clears throat> and I'm glad we did. Probably got one or two more stops before heading home, but I'll be back in time for Christmas, I promise. Hope everyone's doing well, love Susie. Sounds like it's been a hell of a trip, worth every penny. Three seventy-one.
the 20 week war oh my god They do know this is the news, don't they? Quickly, before the fucking news starts. Oh, great, so they get the brains and we get the performing monkey. Oh my god, there's new shit on the switchboard now. What's all this? I'm not allowed to press it yet, so I can't even learn what they fucking do beforehand. Ten seconds <sighs> Great. already. Going in five, four, three. Good evening. This is the National Nightly News. I'm Megan Wolf. It's the 140th day of war. Our main headlines tonight. Company of Heroes. Skirmishes on land and sea again today as our armed forces tested the metal of the World Council's illegal blockade. Advances strategy of multiple small-scale incursions into the disputed zone is certainly keeping the enemy on high alert. Unable to work out where or when the next strike will come. Proud parents throughout the territory find themselves ever more impressed by the bravery and commitment of their incredible children and the job they're doing keeping supply lines open against all possible odds. Don't starve. Advance's food program moved from strength to strength today as rationing depots were opened in the last remaining unfed areas of the territory. The rationing depots have been constructed in record time and the government's agricultural coordination strategy has seen shelves restocked with increasing regularity. However, with a reported rise in mental and physical health issues since the imposition of the blockade, critics have questioned whether those smaller communities which are only now starting to receive help could have been better and quicker served. Seven days to die. The recent decision to allow those with long-term health conditions to access transition centers has today been declared an overwhelming success. Previously available only to those in their final years, the expansion of the service has been met with relief by the many organizations calling for it to be opened up to the wider community. With dwindling medical supplies leaving many of our most vulnerable facing chronic pain, it can come as no surprise that the transition centers have found themselves stretched to capacity. Populous. More than 11% of the population have thus far failed to register for a team membership card, a worrying statistic given that the cards are a legal requirement from midnight tonight. While applications are still open for those who like to run fashionably late, they can expect a few tricky questions from advance. Start me up. Disrupt spokesman Alan James held an impromptu rally today in the northern city of Mankipur. Large crowds gathered to hear the band speaker prove Disrupt are still able to capture the public's imagination. A representative from the Manklipool Community Cohesion Team described the event as mostly peaceful. But it looks like Disrupt aren't going quietly into the night. And finally tonight. Our mutual friend. Bail was denied in the High Court today for shamed former National Nightly News anchor Jeremy Donaldson. The presenter will be transferred to new lodgings at Pendron Ridge Prison, while the lengthy preparations for his trial, which is still 18 months away, begin. Since being taken into custody 10 weeks ago in this very studio, little has been heard from our former colleague. Despite how things ended, we wish him the best, and we'll be sure to bring you all the details of that court case every night. But first this evening, with the war about to enter its 21st punishing week, and people hurting up and down the country, I'll be grilling unpredictable Prime Minister Peter Clement in an exclusive interview from his home in Lanfordshire. That's coming up on tonight's Christ. National Nightly News.
Part two, I'm a little overexcited. One oh, one shit. We'll see. And later, we've got a new feature that's sure to keep you coming back for more. But first tonight, let's check in with Prime Minister Peter Clement, who's speaking to us from his home in Lanfordshire. Good evening, Prime Minister. Have we caught you exercising? Oh, have we started? Yes, that's right, Miss Wolf. Uh, just a few minor adjustments. I mean, nothing drastic. I haven't joined the gym or anything. As my old man used to say, just because she won't take it up the shit, it doesn't mean you shouldn't try for a quick fiddle up the car. Language, box. Prime Minister. <sighs> what? Quick fiddle? What, what's wrong? Oh, shit. It's shitter, isn't it? Yep, that's the one. And can you tell us what brought about this new Not now. You know, Mrs. You, know, you know the night the blockade began. When Jeremy Donaldson... Well, you know, and it was blistering hot, as I'm sure you all remember. And I, I were a bit wheezy from all the cigars and all that. And Mrs. C turns to me after, you know, after the signal dropped away. And she were in flood of tears. And she says, please tell you. He was preoccupied by the worry of being a burden on his children. Stop! Smoking cigar! Smoking cigar! Except for Christmas birthday. Weddings. State dinners. I suppose I can't be useless Rudy Black was done or got anywhere. And apparently I'm going on a walking holiday this Christmas. And oh, that should this finish me off for money good. Did you make the decision to holiday within the country this winter because of the blockade, Prime Minister? Well, Mrs. C has never liked travelling at the best of times. <laughs> uh, these are certainly not the best of times. On that we can all agree. Uh, there's a lot of red tape involved in leaving the territory at the moment, as I'm sure you're all aware. An advance. I'm not the only. What? All in it together. Also, oh, yeah. it also. doesn't seem very advanced seem to be going abroad when the rest of the country is grounded. And yet, Julia Salisbury announced today that she'll be visiting Spenland during this year's winter break. Is that really an example of team spirit? What? Did you know about this, Gail? No one tells me anything, Gail. Peter. You should know that. Why don't you know? Well, leaving that for a moment, it says on this card that a body like yours must take some planning to achieve. What's your morning routine? Well, I have a frigid morning routine. Frigid? It's frigid. That Jeremy Donaldson had a very public breakdown is undeniable, but rather than law enforcement, wouldn't Possible medical trainer. experts Who's be the one to call? Trainer? Of course, that That's was never going to happen. <laughs> Jeremy Donaldson had a very public Prime breakdown Minister, because he simply plan, couldn't take what advance were doing anymore. Week, and the people of this he knew that the national expect. nightly what news was being transformed from a bastion of truth into a frivolous chat show. Well, and like a mother watching her child fall under a predator's spell, he couldn't stand by and allow that to happen. He chose to stand up to a and their response will be to destroy him. He will be discredited, shamed, tried and convicted. They will break him as an example to us all. Today, disruptors named him an officer in absentia. We welcome him to our ranks. We are with you, Jeremy. You do not stand. Right, that's alone. good. That's good to know, Pat. You know, I used to really like you, Pat. You're a breath of fresh air. But I've been watching you, and you know what? I've been you. you get more like him every day. I will take that as a compliment. Prime Minister, later on this evening, your co-leader, Julia Salisbury, is going to give a national address from team headquarters. Can you give us a hint of what she's going to say? Um, yes. Um, well, uh, I, I imagine that there sorry, will be sorry, you the imagine? usual... Uh, sorry, sorry, you imagine? No, what, what I mean, what do, I mean is, You do know about this broadcast, don't you, Prime Minister? I'm, I'm sure I did. Yeah. Um, but uh oh, oh I trouble in paradise. We don't memorise each other's bloody diaries either. As my old man used to say, 
If you wanted to get a job done quick, don't get bogged down in the pew. What else you got? Sorry? Only cards, what else? A little piece of my life, you want to rustle through? Get up, refill my last. Get up, refill my last. Ah, come on. Come on. OK. What music do you listen to when you work out? What music do you listen to when you work out? Well, Gail tells me that I work out to little C. But I have absolutely no fucking idea who that is. Do you think the C stands for? It stands for collaborative, Prime Minister. It yeah. stands for collaborative, Prime Minister. Uh, how's rationing affecting you? It's hard, but we get by. You just have to learn to get by on the basics. Take comfort in each other. I've got Mrs. C. You aren't being fucking rationed at all. You lying bastard. joining us. When we come back, it's time for the culture spot with Lil C and a world premiere. Get on that phone now, right now, to that. find out what that you politicist bitch is off. You politicist bitch is off. One minute back, everybody. Complete fucking bog water. Bog water. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Bottom four's fucking locked. Oh, the ads! Shit! Who's Lil C? Wow, I nearly fucked that up royally. I read books. Yeah, I deserve that for the way that fucking failed. And it probably counted against me, I was doing the disruption route anyway. Thanks for coming back. Later, we have an exciting new feature that we Later, just know you're going to love, so stay tuned for that. But first, I'm really excited for our next guest. She rose to prominence as the delightful Susie May in All My Daughter's Children's Night. Before taking the music industry by storm this year, with her debut album, Smashing the Chart of Fortune, and the right idea. Idea. 20. Let's give it up right. and welcome Lil C. <laughs> You look incredible. Oh, thanks, look babe. I'm doing this new regime and it really does work. Ooh. What's the regime? Mm -hmm. My manager just suggested it to me. It basically involves bathing in like cabbage water and then having the leaves sucked out of you while you sleep. Wow, is, is that healthy? Oh, well, look at me, Meg. The leaves are my only nourishment. <laughs> yep, they certainly are. Now, you'll have to forgive me, but I'm somewhat of a super fan, so I'm sorry if I get a bit starstruck. Oh, bless you. I've never actually heard of you before, so if you do get a little tongue-tied, I can always carry the interview. Oh, that's good to know. So your first album, F My Face Together, it hit shelves this summer and it just exploded. I mean, what's that like for you? bonkers just yeah. so weird i was in all the papers and the magazines overnight i went from that like annoying little girl from that show to that like sexy little girl from that show wow that must have been bizarre not really it was just like any other morning you know get up at five go on a four mile run have three meetings on my cabbage bath but then only then was my dad actually talking to me oh of course i mean the famed country singer billy bob jean short i didn't know you'd been estranged there's nothing that strange about it megan 
<laughs> okay, yes, he may believe that aliens told him to hate women, but there really isn't anything to prove that he's wrong. But there really isn't anything uh -huh. to prove that he's wrong. So, uh, this newfound explosion so, into your popularity, I mean, pop did that change your life? Um, well, I had to start wearing, like, nicer underwear, you know, for the paparazzi. But as the manager says, best to make the most of it before I'm 30. <laughs> Is that right? So, but, what's the album about? So, I thought it was about, like, how pretty and great I am. But actually, it's about monetizing youth, I think, or about, like, promoting an unrealistic standard of beauty or something. Your manager again. <laughs> yeah. He says, insecurity is an opportunity. Oh. Do you think he'd be happy with you telling us all this? <laughs> telling you all what? It really doesn't matter what I say here. I'll do my dancing and then this part will all be forgotten about. Well, well yeah. I mean, <laughs> we're going to see some of those famous dance moves very shortly because you're going to be performing your new single, aren't you? Yeah, it's from my album, Put It In My A Together, and it's out to my A Together, and it's out to My friend let her 13-year-old son join the go-getters. He's occupied now. Busy, even. <laughs> so this is called Cry For Help. And it's going to be in all the best high street and retail shops. And it's out now. So, girlies, now. you know what to do. Scream and cry until somebody gets it for you. Ooh. There, there she goes. Blimey. <laughs> all these projects, they're keeping you very busy, aren't they? It must be tough. Yeah, it can get tough, and I Possibly hate it sometimes. Wild. And I hate myself. I just want to, like, cry into we a bar. We want to know what the news bed. will no longer but tell us. Think and when we find out, we will tell you. We will hack into your news broadcasts. We will defend your right to information. We will yeah, resist and we will Most nights disrupt. Most nights, my fourth bunker and the eighth time a stranger slapped me around the arse. I think things could have been different, you know, like better. But I don't know. I love doing autographs and having somebody dress me and tell me what to wear. <laughs> did you always want to do music? Uh, well, ever since I was a little girl, I did. I'd sit in front of the radio, and as soon as my favourite girl group would come, when I press the call to my cassette, but then my dad would come in and tell me to turn it off and to go back upstairs and start practising again. Oh, you, so, sorry, is, you, is your dad your manager? Yeah, which can be tough. And sometimes when it gets really hard, he'll say, make Quagler proud and you might just survive childbirth. <laughs> well, you know what, despite anything, you'll make me proud. Oh, if only your opinion was as valuable as his. <laughs> and on that problematic note, uh, you're going to be singing your song for us soon, aren't you? Uh, tell me about it, tell me about it. So, it's called These Babies Gonna Bring You Home, and I actually got sent the lyrics in the car on the way up here. You know what, it's actually all right. And don't worry, all my work is team approved. All right then, well, you can go and get ready for that. We'll see you in a little bit. It was a very specific type of pleasure <laughs> to chat to her, and I just can't wait to hear this. Oh, so, let's do this time. Here we go. With an exclusive first performance of her new track, These Babies. Too early. Too Take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Force's favorite. It's the, the Queen of Team. Here to break in your blockades. We'll see. Uh -huh. you see I'm hungry there's a place in me that's empty I want that meat you're packing only you can feel that crack in me I'm under siege so come and free me ain't no disruption here boy I got no agenda just want the team and me no dirty foreign member don't stop no morning drill there's hope It's loud when you do your country bar. I ain't no vehicle's daughter. Come and skirmish on my border. Quick before I get my shoulder. Tie me down and pull me like an enemy soldier. An enemy soldier. So let them try and break our dream. We fight and love and die at you. So See some action, so come and break my sanctions. They can jump, they are oh, shit going on there. That's a Simpsons reference there. 
gets my rich, number gets She yeah. was only 53 But gave to save her family There's no one judging me If I'm the one that's in your fantasy Don't die alone These babies gonna bring you home I am the biggest God I come and skirmish on my border Quick before I get much older Tie me down and throw me like an enemy soldier See some action, so come and break my sanctions. If that doesn't distract you from the world outside, well, I don't know what will. <laughs> I'd like to thank Phil Sipo. <laughs> well, for doing that. Don't go anywhere. Well, After the break, that. we'll finally be anywhere. revealing the new se we'll segment of our show that we just know you're going to love. We'll be back right out after this. And we're out. Can I just say... Thank you so much for letting me do this. It really means a lot to me, you know, yeah. to be able to promote myself on such a mainstream platform like the news. <laughs> Don't worry about it. And you know what? Good luck for the future. Take care of yourself. This industry can be crazy sometimes. Watch out for that father of yours. Oh, no, no. I manage myself. It's just, you know, for the public to have that certain like. Oh, oh right. Um, and Michael? What was Michael? What about Billy Bob Jean Shorts? Oh, my dad. He's such a sweetheart. We both have the same agents, you know, like it just made sense. Both of us got our image together. Wow. And Michael, I want to see the revenue share for the clothing line and get me a G&T before my meeting with the Lube guys. If they say for your pleasure, I'm going to stop needing it. I hate to tell you this, but you're going to need all the full sound effects buttons for this next section. Try and pick the most appropriate sound effect for the actor's lines. They can't hear your choices, so they'll be assuming you're helping things along and not making them look ridiculous. Mind you, after the last section, can't help us all. Try and do better. Until it feels like 12. Got it? Absolutely. At least tell me what each one of them does. I mean, I can probably figure it out from the symbols, but, you know, still... Three. Wouldn't be nice to be fucking told. Thanks for joining us for part three. We've been teasing you about our new feature all night, and now the wait is finally over. I can reveal that every night on the show, we'll be treated to an episode of an informative and hilarious new segment called The Notice Board. It stars some top talent, and we're very excited about it. But before we see it, let's have a quick chat with the writer, director, and phenomenon, may I say. Jeff Algebra, guys! Actually, I've, uh, I've dropped the Algebra. Oh, shit! Wrong book, you yeah, fuck me! How do you like that? Yeah, very fancy. I suppose you need a new name now that you're a successful artist. Well, exactly. I'm earning enough to pay taxes now. Oh. <laughs> and how does Angela feel about all this? And how does Angela feel about all this? Your, uh, your wife. Your, uh, your wife. Oh, that fucking blow. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's long gone. No, she was holding me back. I'm with Norm now. We were married last month. <laughs> Norm de Bloom. Yeah. <laughs> and um, why did you write this? Hmm? What was your inspiration? Oh, well, I, I received a telephone call offering me 25 grand to write a pro team sitcom. And I heard my father's voice. It said, Jeff. You listen here, boy. You make hay while the sun shines. You ring every penny you can get out of this. 
So I wheeled him down to the transition centre, got out my typewriter and started clacking. Got out my typewriter. Utter shite. <laughs> and without further ado, let's give it up for the notice board. Craven. Oh, Craven. morning, Ray. Everything morning, all right, Mrs. Craven? Craven. You right. look as worried as the vicar in closing time. Oh, Ray, it's those oh, young louts. They vandalised my shop again. No! Yes! No! <laughs> They've written all sorts of obscene language and crude pictures, and I know it's those damn you. I don't know. It could be the vicar at closing time. I'm just worried they won't ever become productive members of the community. What if they never see the error of their ways and end up as social outcasts, such as shoplifters or bong rats? Don't worry, Mrs. Craven. This is a very supportive community, and I'm sure that in time they will fit into this society like this key into this lock. <laughs> See? Works like a charm. What a lovely way to put it, Ray. And just like that, we can unlock their future. Yes, yes. Wow. Look at all the letters in my collection today. Oh, I think that one's addressed to me. What? This, this one? Oh, so you're right. Oh, so you're right. Here it is. <laughs> it's a letter from my granddaughter, Bre Brenda. She says she got an A on her maths exam because one of her friends has been helping her. She was always a team player, was our Brenda. What's up, losers? What's up, losers? Oh, no! Oh, it's no. Brad! He's the coolest Brad. guy He's in the village. That's right. I just got here on my motorbike. Oh, clear off, Brad. We don't want any of your ilk around here. What? Brad dudes? No. Ruffians, have you come to tag the notice board with your gang signs? No way. I've actually come to pin my resume on that notice board. I'm looking to do some tutoring after school. What did you say? To tutoring? That's right. That is very That's right. Would you mind, Ray? Would you mind, Ray? Not at all. So you, a young person, have been spending your time helping others and not just urinating on churches or huffing glue? Hey, I haven't huffed glue for months. Well, blow me down! You, do you know what? We misjudged you based on how young and cool you are and not on your actions. Oh, no joy. So it wasn't no you who vandalised my shop last night or called me a rancid old crone from the back of a chopper? No way. It can't have been me. I was too busy helping my friend Brenda with her maths homework. Could you speak up there? I thought for a minute there that you said Brenda. I did, you daft old sow. 
Did you hear that, Ray? Oh, yes, what a wonderful yes, surprise. I now respect surprise. you as a man. Put her there, Ray. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Give us a hug. Oh, what the fuck? Oh god, it's frozen. Oh, Initial Christ. estimates put the death toll into. Initial estimates put the death toll into. Uh, they put them into millions. I'm being told we're experiencing um, some power shortages as a result. So apologies. Apologies for the interruption. Mm -hmm. And apparently we can go live now to team headquarters for an emergency broadcast from mm -hmm. Prime Minister Julia Salisbury um, any moment. Yes. Yes. Let's go to that now. Yes. Yes. Let's go to that now. Good evening, citizens and leaders of the world. Minutes ago, operatives working for Advance detonated nuclear explosives simultaneously in four major cities across the continent. What? We have similar devices in 58 other urban centers. And will not hesitate to de not hesitate to detonate them. Will not hesitate to detonate them. We are hearing stories of power fluctuations and what could be minor earthquakes uh, throughout the continent. Stand by. Final blockade. You are to remove it immediately. We will accept nothing less than your unconditional surrender. Your territories will be taken under our control. We will install replacement governments to ensure that your citizens become part of the new future. Your borders are now our borders. Your people are our people. They will finally be fed and clothed and educated and healed. You have to know what's being done. What's being done you. right now the to our neighbours? This is unprecedented. Our government has committed an act, multiple clear. acts of mass destruction if you in fire our name. A single shot at our territory, or harm a single one of our citizens. Nor do I care how you voted. You didn't vote for this. Devices. None of us did. They you will not find them. We. Then no doubt you are be. already searching uh, for them. We are uh, waiting Our further news and oh. ahead of yours. Oh. What if they respond? We will expect your complete acceptance of we our will terms expect your by midnight tonight. Acceptance of our terms by midnight tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I, d I don't really talk about my personal life or my job. I don't really talk about my personal it's not relevant. Life. Or important. Um, or important. Um, so many of you may be surprised to learn that I have so a brother. Many of you may be surprised to learn that I His name is David. His name is David. And right now I. And right now I. I can't get a stupid face out of my head. I can't get a stupid face out of my head. He's a researcher and he's currently travelling the continent for work. He's currently travelling. And I don't. The continent for work. And I don't. I don't know where he is right now. And I should imagine that there are many of you sitting at home tonight digesting this this news, and you also have loved ones on the continent, in Urkistan or Harbia or San Palmarino. Oh, fuck! That's where the daughter is. When I last spoke to him. So when I tell you, I know how you are feeling tonight. Believe me, I do. But I also know that there's, there's a flow to events. I see it every day here. I know that although tonight it feels like we may be in a time of fear and darkness, we may actually be at the break of a new dawn. We don't know that yet. We can't know that yet. But together we will find out. And I will be here every night, feeling what you are feeling. And with your help, 
Maybe we can all get to that brave new world. Maybe we can all get to that brave new world. My name's Megan Wolf. My name's Megan Wolf. Let's make tomorrow better. Let's make tomorrow better. And we're out. And we're out. I've got people ringing around, but the telephone networks are overloaded. It's not let me play any fucking it's adverts. Exactly which cities were hit, Lord. That, uh, that was heavy, that was very heavy, I may have to start putting content warnings at the beginning of this now because that was, oof, I think I'm starting to understand why a lot of people didn't finish their playthroughs of this now. Results screen. Two E's. Probably for doing the fucking disruption and shit. Whatever. Language unsuitable for children. Interference free show. Oh. It's seen the poor right edge. You played one advert to play disrupt ruin the board. option to play the fucking advert and said it was already too late, so that's not my fault. I'm still broadcast poor. Government trust down, the shrub trust up, channel one so no loves me. separate section for disrupt acts. <sighs> well, I'm gonna leave this here for now. I'll probably see it through to the end, but it's probably gonna get a lot more harsh from here. Uh, thank you for watching. And good night out there, whatever you are.